Welcome aboard my brand new vlog series. I'm so glad to have you here. My family and I spent the most incredible week aboard P&O Cruises Iona on a tour of the Norwegian fjords. Iona is pretty wowy with 14 restaurants, 19 bars and cafes, theatre, cinema, library, whirlpools, infinity pool, hydrotherapy pool, the Sky Dome, its own gin distillery, fantastic kids club, huge spa and extremely comfortable cabins. This ship is something special. I hope these vlogs give you a good taste of what a cruise is like. It was our first ever cruise and we were blown away by it. I can't wait to show you the ship, the food, the excursions and just a bit of happy mum life with two little girls. If you have any questions at all, leave them below. But until then, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the vlog. To you from the very calm waters of Haugsund, Haugsund, I'll find out how to pronounce that as well. We are at our final stop um, shore day today we're just approaching the shore just about to go and get some breakfast here's Darcy Doodles and have a lovely day so today is our last shore day and we have booked to go to the World War II Museum look at this scenery oh, so lovely something else I want to do today is explore a bit more of the outside of the ship I feel like we've done Here's Darcy, say hello. I feel like we've done quite a lot of um, the inside, but I want to do like a loop of the decks. Um, I think we're going for a nice meal tonight and I would quite like to go up to the top deck. They've got the crow's nest, which is like, um, I, I think, like an adults only lovely bar. How excited are you for Kids Club? Super excited. She loves it, she just loves it. Um, yeah, and that's gonna be the day to day so breakfast go on to our shore day, um, and then a lovely evening. Come with us. Thank you for the pancakes. I like my pancakes. Oh, I hadn't even started. You just, I was going to say, how happy are you having pancakes and sausages every morning? Pancakes. Do you love it? Pancakes. Are you going to turn into a pancake? Yeah. And I'm just going to have pancake pearl. Yeah. <laughs> so this is us and we are bus 14. Our tour guide had such good pants on the bus, like I thoroughly enjoyed. Ooh, right there, missus. Probably had a little snooze, but I thoroughly enjoyed um, his tour stuff. And now tour commentary, I call it. And now we are here, we are at the um, museum. So it's all set up like it would have been during the Second World War. Darcy's making some notes. Look, oh. Pam. Old toys, look. Look at that. Darcy is loving this. She's really into history, so she's enjoying learning about this, which is nice. You want to make a little powerpoint with your name. Just whip up a little powerpoint. You love history, don't you? Yeah, it's good. The museum is just there. And if you come outside, there's this really lovely little harbour of little boats and seagulls and all these little houses in the hillside. I love that. So as part of the tour, we've come up to this viewpoint. Our tour guide is going to tell us something about this tower, I think. It must relate to the Second World War. But I just wanted to show you this view, and if you look into the distance, it's so bright so I'm really struggling to see my screen finder, but if you look, I think you can see the ship. I think it's struggling to focus. Oh, there we go. There's Iona. <laughs> sea salt and caramel. So yes. we are getting some ice cream. Sea salt and caramel and the strawberry. Happy girls. I haven't had ice cream in absolutely ages, so I'm going to really enjoy this. If you come on the Iona ship, or I suppose any Puno cruises, go to the ice cream place, get the Kinder ice cream. It is like heaven, isn't it? Yeah, I had it and it's so good. It's so good. My only sadness is that I've only discovered this now. I wish I'd discovered this like... The first day. The first day, the first hour of the first day. But this, this and the room service nachos get them that's if you do nothing else well it'd be a bit weird if you came on a ship and did nothing else but just get them they're delicious <laughs> <laughs> 
So we are going to go to the crow's nest for a drink first. Girls, I'm going to hear them going, stop it, you stop it. Stop it. Um, I think I mentioned in an earlier vlog, maybe this one, that Laura Tobin is on the ship. Stop, please. Laura Tobin is on the ship with her family. She's actually doing some talks on the ship. Uh, but we know each other from work from before. Oh, this is the Epicurean. It's meant to be amazing in there. Um, but we're going to meet them for a couple of drinks. We've been like meeting up with them here and there across the trip. So that's what we're doing now. So this is the crow's nest. It's on deck 17 with beautiful views. Oh, hi, hello. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. So this is the view from the crow's nest. Just over there, some windmills. And ITV's weather lady, Laura Toby. She doesn't come with the crow's nest. <laughs> She's just here. I'm just checking in new energy. That's good. Just keeping an eye on things. Such a lovely place in here. Now we are heading off to dinner. Going down. Lift selfie. Doors closing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the aesthetic of the olive grove and I think it looks lovely. A little look at the menu, what would you go for? Darcy's got some carbonara and Liam and I are sharing the um, meze board, he's just cutting up pearls. Carbonara, this looks delicious. So I have gone for a margarita with olives and Liam has gone for paella. a paella and the girls have gone to kids club so it's sort of like a little date night isn't it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so I've gone for the baklava, am I saying that right? Baklava? Baklava? Baklava. baklava. Liam couldn't decide what to have for his dessert so he's gone for two. <laughs> um, I am having the honorary creme brulee crack. Push it over please. Oh I hope you get the audio of this ready. That's nice. It's a nice little crack there. So we have come to the clubhouse, which was right next to the Olive Grove. Having a little date night here. They've got swivel chairs, which I like. Um, and on the screen is Twist and Pulse, so I'm assuming it's Twist and Pulse again, which followed by me. They were great the other night, so. And I might be able to film it a bit in here. It didn't feel like I could whip a camera out in like the big theatre environment, but relaxed and um come outside don't mind me with <laughs> I've still got the girls colouring stuff uh, my little microphone thing boop boop um is getting blown off so I'm not sure what the sound quality is going to be like it's a bit blowy it's <laughs> but I just wanted a bit of fresh air and to enjoy the ship. Oh, hello. Hello there. It's a bit blowy, isn't it? I'm not sure my, even with my little fluffy muff, I'm not sure the mic's going to cope. Evenings on the ship are so lovely. So I'm in the atrium now. I've just bought actually Laura Tobin's book, so I'm hoping to go and see her talk tomorrow and support her. Liam's gone to go and get the girls from Kids Club. It's all just very nice. A very good morning to you from somewhere in the middle of the North Sea. Back inside though, because it is nippy. I'm going to miss doing my greetings to you out on the balcony with various places in the sea. Um, today is a sea day on the ship, which means that you don't get off um, the ship anywhere because it's not docking anywhere. We're just going from Norway all the way back to Southampton. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because there's lots going on today. I was a bit worried at the beginning. I thought, oh, two sea days, because there's one at the beginning, if you remember, in the last vlog, and one today. I thought, will that be will that be too much? Will we be bored? No, you actually can't get bored on Iona. There's just so much to do. Um, so we're gonna go for breakfast and then we're gonna go and watch Laura Tobin's talk. She's doing a talk in the Headliners um, Theatre, the big theatre space. So we're going to go and watch that and then just see where the day takes us. See where it takes us, get it? See where, it's a brilliant joke. Hmm. I've got a critic in the background, I've got a heckler. So you know how like her dad jokes and mum jokes? Yeah. That was a real That was an joke. excellent joke. That Thank was you. a mum joke. You might be wondering if I've recycled my hair from last night. The answer is yes. I just 
scrape back all the bits that went a bit um, scientist from Back to the Future this morning. That was a bit of a niche reference, let me know if you got it. Um, and, and that's, um, it's the end of the week, so that's, that's as good as it's getting. I've got a little white dress on today. Boopily boop. You've got a little dress on today. Boopily boop. Boopily boop. <laughs> Let's go and have our day. What have we gone for? Oh, waffles. waffles. We're going to miss little sights like this next week. So there's the Limelight Club where we went the other night. Saw Matt Terry. And down the corridor towards headliners they've got all this art on the wall that you can uh, you can buy you can buy this art if you want it in your home and then there's the spa where we'll be going later and then this is headliners this way I can't believe they fit all of this on one ship Ooh, she's got her earths she's got her planets up so this is the size of the theatre it's it's really big so the stage here is really clever with its tech. This around the edge changes and the wings when they come out, they are a screen as well that like coincide with this, this and this. So it looks really effective. Pandemic, when the world healed, the pollution cleared and we breathe fresh air and can hear the birds. Laura's talk was amazing. We're gonna go and have a little look on the promenade now. Oh, it's sunny. Wow, look at it down there, Darcy. Wow. Wow. We're at the front of the ship. <laughs> it's a little bit windy here, <laughs> but very refreshing. <laughs> very refreshing. <laughs> Look at that. Think of the views you would have in there. And then Liam with Pearly over there. Are you doing your Memoji? I'm just watching this. Oh, you're filming yourself. <laughs> Look how pleased she is. In a minute, I'm going to film Darcy. Yeah? Because Sounds good. Nice Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> so we've come up to the room to do a bit of packing before all our afternoon things. And we've ordered room service. And we've got our, um, we went for those nacho bento boxes again. Hello, Mrs. Because <laughs> they were so delicious. And Liam, has gone for a steak because that's what he wanted so we're like, off you go you go for a steak we'll have some girl time we're watching a film thank you missus and i just feel sad that today's our last day i don't want to go do you i just want to live i just want to live on the ship and have nachos in a box and constant like lovely leisurely activities and beautiful scenery and excursions and i just want to stay here forever yeah we're going to book to come back on for sure the girls have gone for an hour in the reef where's the sign the reef <laughs> in the kids club and Liam and I are going for a massage this I'm the woman that doesn't like massages and I booked in for a second massage who even am I on a cruise Liam's already relaxing and we're just waiting for the treatment room but you're just in full relaxation mode aren't I'm there you there already <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so relaxed <laughs> who is this gorgeous girl that's come back from kids club who is this butterfly a butterfly where's Pearl Boy. Oh no, I liked Pearl. I'm Pearl. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. Let me see your hair, turn around. Oh, I've got rainbow hair. Oh my goodness. Have you had a good time, both of you? Yeah. Yeah? Good. I'm just sitting in the atrium, looking at the brochure to pick another Norwegian cruise. What were you saying, sweetie? You won I something? Want this. You won um, something? Yeah. That's um, good. But I need Oh, what did you have to do to win? Um, so basically, Basically, to win it, there were like four packages. There was one, two, three, and then there was thing. And when you had the same card as the one that the lady should put up, um, you won. Brilliant. So this is Pearl Restaurant, where we're going to eat dinner tonight. Isn't it beautiful? Where are we going to go? I am starting with the tomato soup. Pesto and mozzarella gnocchi. If you like pina coladas, dun dun cheers. Getting caught in the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Good morning to you from not the Norwegian fjords. We have arrived safely and smoothly back into Southampton. There's very few trips that I ever feel sad 
about leaving usually i am quite looking forward to going home i've had enough of the holiday not like oh i've had enough of this but like i've enjoyed it and i'm ready to go home and see the cats and do my real life um but i could easily do this for another week and not feel like it was dragging on um so i'm sad this is ending i have so so many thoughts on cruising things that i might do a bit differently next time things that really surprise me um things that i just feel like everybody should know basic things that i want to tell you if you've never been on a cruise um and i don't know how best to do that maybe another video maybe some sort of like long instagram post it will be coming at some point but i'm very aware that these two vlogs are going to be longies and quite a big editing job so i think i will bid you a fond farewell from the Iona from my beautiful balcony my beautiful views over the last week I've just had such an incredible time um, last night we sat in the atrium and had a few drinks with Laura and her family I packed everything last night so I'm now having to wear last night's dress again but that's okay we're getting off the ship very shortly um, it's very loud let me just shut this um, so we are just going to finish up our final bits of packing, grab some breakfast and head off home back to Northampton to see our fur babies um, and for real life to resume except I've got the joy of editing this so I'll be reliving it and watching it all over again. I hope that you have enjoyed these vlogs, do leave a comment and let me know um, if you've enjoyed them, if you've not enjoyed them definitely don't leave me a comment to let me know um i'm a sensitive soul i'm a sensitive soul though i seem thick skinned in that movie um if someone names that movie they've watched they've watched all the way to the end i'm impressed all right thanks so much love you lots i hope you've enjoyed this